you're too old to be a filmmaker and you're a freak, no one loves you, you should stop being a filmmaker. And that's just how I feel right now. But I've had a few and I've had a crazy day. So let's take you back in time to how that day started and how it's now ending. It's so hard to vlog. Uh, I'm just gonna stop again until we get to the next destination. I don't know what's gonna happen. Finally got the rainy Tokyo. No, I don't like it at all. It's so much less fun and you can see like there's not as many people out when it's raining. It's a different kind of Japan. Agree? Oh my hair. This is a true and real Japan vlog. After three perfect days of blue skies and sun flares, the colours are now muted and I'm not talking about desaturation in post-production, I mean literally our moods have shifted. It's cold. There's so much movement and we're constantly lost in a crowd. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Travel comes with the good, the bad and the ugly. I wouldn't trade right now for anything in the world. For me personally, this is the most beautiful part because it's truthful. The most beautiful part is the truth. 100% of the time, every time. I was like, where do you go? I know, how come <laughs> always losing me? You always just suddenly go missing. It's because the... It's weaker. Yeah, yeah, it's this vibe for today. Okay. This is the vibe, hair ruined. Clothes ruined, camera ruined. But you know what? I'd rather be here than anywhere else in the world. Right now. Why? Because in Japan, and you no, spend money. Because I'm with my <laughs> baby, and I have squeaky shoes. I have squeaky shoes. Too. I've got the squeaky shoes on earth. Ah, uh, yeah. How is not busy? It's busy. Busy enough. Are people going in? give a context for the drama which will ensue. We have been shopping in Japan to help make our home perfect. We bought a lot but I didn't expect to have to walk one hour in the rain with our luggage and new purchases. We didn't expect it but it happened and drama ensued. I'll go the long way I'll take my time Cause I know someday I'll realize it might take me my whole life, but at least I did it right. Did it right. <laughs> After this, we're going to Kyoto, so somehow going to take all the shopping plus the luggage. I have no idea why. But originally we were supposed to go to the flea market today and then it rained so uh, we had to change plans. I think we get satisfaction after everything that happened, yeah? We bought a lot and we didn't expect to have to walk one hour in the rain lugging nearly 40 kilos of our purchases and clothes. And why would we walk an hour in the rain with all our new purchases? I mean, that's insane, right? Well, map said 10 minutes, but the GPS was laggy and the rain caused other issues. <laughs> the right device is just the phone right now. It doesn't matter if the quality better. It might be new. If you're in Tokyo, always leave an hour before you think you need it. Even an extra hour. Man, the worst day ever, man. An extra hour on top of, you know, being early. Because you don't actually know. It's so hard to vlog. I'm just going to stop again until we get to the next destination. We're heading to Kyoto. I don't know what's going to happen. Luggage. Evangeline's somewhere over there. Yeah, that way. Okay. I can hear her yelling. We also received odd directions from passerby saying five minutes this way, five minutes that way. So wet. None of which were correct. People were trying to help it. There was a communication barrier. Wow. 
What a journey. What a journey right? Sometimes the phone is the best one <laughs> for vlogging. <sighs> Couldn't film most of it. It was just chaos. I was soaked and I was worried that everything was ruined on the inside of the luggage. Do we make it or not? So done. I'm so On the train. We are stuck in this spot for like the last one hour. We have a Shinkansen delay. Say something. <laughs> and that's because supposedly it's raining really hard, so yeah. When you're a filmmaker, you board the train of life. You can exit at any stop. You can do that through your footage. Current station, the present. Next stop, the past. Yeah, why am I whispering? Well, it's a vibe. There's this film called The Whispering Star by Japanese director Shion Zono. And I love his movies. And in that film, every line for the whole movie is whispered as a creative choice and aesthetic. The Whispering Star is the name of the film. So yeah, today I am in Kyoto thinking about film, live cinema at this beautiful place, so sorry. Walk over this traffic. Oh, okay, and, okay. okay. Uh, oh. Uh, I know, next, next to Nike. Uh, oh, right okay. Next small corner. When you're in Japan, physically present, it's such a unique experience. You know that <laughs> satisfaction. We lost two hours of time because of the delay, but as soon as we saw Kyoto, the darkness turned to light and colour returned back into the frame. We hadn't eaten since lunch. But now we found out we can actually get our luggage shipped back to Tokyo for a small fee. So it's like, it, it might be easier than carrying it in the rain. <laughs> I'm actually happy again because I've had a few drinks. We hadn't showered or changed. We were still a little damp, but let me tell you, in this moment, happiness was overflowing. We didn't stop at one meal. This was a binge. We stumbled upon a Kyoto hot dog store. Thank you. And they even served us street drinks. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. What a vibe. Wes Anderson stuff with ham. Oh. Oh. So good. The neon lights of Kyoto hit, and it was evident why we made it back here. Life is too short to not. So cinematic. Unbelievably cinematic. Day off in Kyoto. And then? <laughs> no more. I don't know the rest of the song to be honest. Yeah, I think came here Yeah, we took photos right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Didn't we do it right here? Yeah, yeah, we did. We did these few trees here. These trees were yeah. the Sakura trees last time. Yep. Oh my gosh, that was so beautiful. Yep. And in the neon haze, we stumbled upon a familiar sight. It was the cherry blossom trees, where we experienced Sakura and snow. Supposedly. What we'd experienced was a rare moment. Sakura and snow, like us humans, somehow existing in this cold, dark universe. A rare feat, a miracle. Sakura and snow, a rare feat, a miracle. And I love film because film, filming life, that's already a miracle is a miracle on top of a miracle. I don't know if this is making sense, but. On a scale of one to 10, 
<laughs> Where do you feel your life is right now? Give it eight. Eight eight? Yeah. You saw this rare feat and it's an eight somehow? Because I'm cold. Oh, okay, let's go I'm then. Let's go. Cold. So it's the yeah, cold. Okay, let's go. Let's cold. go. Come on. I like being like, oh, it's perfect. You know, there's always like something, but an eight. I was, I, I, I'd even say like a 9.95. Alright, no, there's 10 points, right? So one deducts because of the cold, and another one deducts because, because there's only two trees there. You can oh. have like a feel, you don't know. Okay, okay, good. yeah, but we got snow though, and we got. <laughs> snow is ridiculous, you know? Snow is ridiculous, everyone's saying that. Now, now it's normal tree, before it was Sakura. Right there. Yeah. Not gonna lie, this is absolutely amazing. And. As the uh, great Phoebe Bridges said, day off in Kyoto, something something temple, got bored of the temple, went to the 7 Eleven. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I might head to the 7 Eleven. Good. I like this one. Have a try. I think we should just end it here. I'm, ooh, what's this? Apple It's good. So good. All I can say is, if you want to live your life, make films, do it. Cheers to that. If you want to be a vlogger and live your life, cheers to that. If you want to do anything, start a business, dream, dream big, whatever, cheers to that. Because the river will keep on flowing.